I just don't want to miss my mark. Whatever God has for me to do on earth in the realest way, I do not want to miss that mark. I just want to do that every day. I have a story time for y'all. <sighs> Who's ready for a story time? Not me sounding like a mama. Someday, someday, but not today. <laughs> I gotta have my man first, okay? Oh, by the way, try filter water. Try filter water for your flowers. I promise you it's gonna switch up the game. y'all and while I'm at the beauty supply so I'm just browsing around I'm seeping through and then next thing you know I go over to the lashes area because I wanted to get some lashes so that way I can look cute tomorrow when I go to church as I'm going to the lash area there's this young not young lady there's this woman that comes up to me and she's like uh She's like, man, you are focused. Because I was tuned into the lashes, y'all. Because I was trying to make sure that I pick a set that's not going to look too much for me. Because I'm real big on my lashes not doing the most, but doing just enough. Next thing you know, now mind you, this particular beauty supply that I go to, they're playing gospel music in here. It's a black-owned business, if I'm not mistaken. They got the gospel music going. Next thing you know, oh, this is so pretty. So yeah, so y'all, so next thing you know, she comes over and she's like asking me questions like, you know, about what I think about the lashes I'm gonna get. And, and so we're just kind of talking, girl. And then next thing you know, she starts talking about Jesus. And if y'all know anything about me, I love to spend time with Jesus. And I love when I come across people that love to spend time with Jesus. flows back to like being kind of like clear after the food settles. It's my favorite part. And I'm talking to the lady, she stops by, she starts talking to me. She's just letting me know like how good God is. And my, you were in the beauty supply y'all and they're playing gospel music. And what stood out to me was when I first got there y'all, there was this beautiful Chinese woman. As you guys know, most Chinese or Vietnamese is normally in the beauty supply um, as cashiers or they just work there, right? And so when I first walked in, before we even got to this other young lady, before even before me and this um, lady even spoke, I was paying attention to the cashier and how she was going and putting the stuff back on the shelves. But when she was putting the things back on the shelves, she was also like um, praising God and praising the worship music and singing the worship music, you know? And it's so beautiful to see different nationalities, you know, that also... Um, serve the one and true living God, right? Um, especially when you know, normally they probably nine times out of 10 might not have grew up that way. And so it was just beautiful to truly see it. Oh, one of the little petals came off. Oh, like truly, truly, truly praising God, praising God to the worship music. And the worship music that was being played was Tasha Cobbs. I went to go give me some lashes and then we just started basking in the ambience of the worship music that was being played. And then she goes on to tell me about her relationship with God and how she comes up here quite often and how she's pretty much always here, um, like just sharing and witnessing about the goodness of God. I don't even think, honestly, that I need to add this white one in here. I was gonna add these beautiful white ones, but I think I'm just gonna have these white ones in a separate base because 
These red ones look gorgeous. We there for about an hour, y'all, talking about Jesus. We there for an hour talking about Jesus. She's telling me stuff about her testimony that correlated with my grandmother. And one of the things that God has shown his favor and his grace upon my life is I've come across a lot of women that are older than me that are women of God, but they're just in a different season, but have the wisdom that my grandmother had when she sold it into my life. And before she went home to be with the Lord in June 10th of this year. And so, girl, when I say I was just so blessed and so thankful, and me and her were just like thanking God for how he has brought her through and healed her supernaturally and stuff like that. I'm not gonna leave this by itself. I'm gonna add the white ones in here because I did just put both of the foods in one place. And then after that, y'all, we prayed and she covered me in prayer like nobody's business. Like when I say she covered me in prayer, y'all, she covered me in prayer. Like, I don't know if y'all really understand. It was so good that I legitimately, my tongues were activated because it was just that good. The prayer was doing what it needed to do. She was speaking on things, saying I'm not gonna lack nothing, and I was just receiving it in the spirit, right? And so we ended up taking a picture, and I'll actually post the picture somewhere on the screen. We ended up taking a picture together because I was so, I was like, I felt like I was fangirling on the anointing that this wisdom and this knowledge and this power that was bestowed upon this woman of God. And mind you, this woman is almost 80. And she is just praying over me in the beauty supply. I'm just like, whoa. And oh my goodness, it was like burdens were starting to fall off of me. Literally, because I felt off today. Like, when I woke up, I felt off today. I was like, it was such a blessing to meet you. It was such an honor. I thank the Lord Jesus that I came across you today and that you came in my path because you was exactly where I needed you. And I covered her in prayer. Oh, baby, I covered her in prayer. It's just beautiful when the old can rec recognize the 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 young and the young can recognize the old and both have respect because in the sight of God, we are both children. We're both children. So in this moment, it's an iron sharpening iron if you're willing to be sharpened. And baby, I'm always willing to be sharpened by the old, okay? Because they've been here before, they've been through some things, and if you are still in the path of righteousness by the Son of God, Jesus Christ, then baby, you yourself will be able to give me some wisdom for where I'm called to be, what I'm supposed to do, and the Spirit of God in you will affirm and confirm the things that God has already spoke to me in prophet. And that was exactly what was taking place so i was so honored and so grateful and even as i was speaking to her i was speaking to the lord and thanking him for this generosity and favor through his servant next thing you know i told her i said all right missy lane that was her name i said all right missy lane i'll see you next time so i'm going about my business i'm about to go check out i had to get something else and then i was like all right i'm gonna go check out so i'm checking out i made sure i told the cashier i said baby i need you to let the owner know i'm so appreciative of the fact that every time i come in here y'all are always playing gospel music to the point that everyone that come in here is blessed by the music y'all play and it's not it's a selection of music it can go from all different type of gospel music right and so i was just telling her how blessed we are by y'all's obedience to you know who you serve right is this the cashier black african-american woman we can always use the word of the lord like, you know we can always use a good worship from god i said absolutely then i started to leave y'all and i saw miss elaine as i was about to leave i saw her headed out right and i was like okay miss elaine i'll see you later now mind you y'all while me and miss elaine was talking when we, was, when we was talking for about an hour and 30 minutes, just conversing about God and the goodness of God, there were people that was passing by her that was like, thank you, Miss Elaine. Thank you so much. I kid you not, y'all. It was literally like they had came across an angel and whatever she spoke to them before speaking to me, it blessed them tremendously to where they had to stop what they was doing before they left to let her know, thank you, Miss Elaine. Bye, have a blessed one. Thank you so much. This is why we have a conversation for an hour and 30 minutes that I'm coming to know her and she's coming to know me. And I'm just like, yo, you just know when the light of God is on someone because it shows in their actions and it shows with who's around them as well, right? Nevertheless, I was about to tell her the same thing just as those people were doing with me and her was having a conversation. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Miss Elaine, because we she had asked for my number, so we exchanged numbers. 
and I pray to God that we will get the link up someday. Later, and she was talking to this woman and this man, and I thought they was a couple. They looked like they was a couple, and so um, beautiful couple. And so come find out, y'all, they were believers too, and they were repping it. All oh, they had their little name brand, whatever the case may be. I was like, wait a second, let me find out. This is the pit stop where we come together and we have a moment with Jesus. Like, let me find out. And so she was like, Ashley, wait, wait, wait. Let's all pray. And I said, oh, okay. And as you guys know, where two and three are gathered, baby, he is in the midst. Like, what? Oh, baby, he's in the midst. Now, keep in mind, don't forget the Japanese lady. Don't forget the Japanese lady. Japanese, Vietnamese, forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know if she will ever come across this video. And so brother man was to the right of me. He's like, Call him Miss Elaine, Miss Elaine's right there. The, the other young lady's right here. And these two people that she was speaking to was literally around my age, right? She's talking, and so we just start going in. We just start praying. And um, homegirl, I don't know who my good sis is, but baby, she was a prayer warrior. And so we all started getting hot, y'all. We could literally, literally feel the presence of God upon us. We could feel the Holy Ghost moving. And so my tongues was being activated. Miss Elaine's tongues was being activated as we was praying. And so we going in, going in. And then homegirl starts talking about shattering generational curses with the fire of the Holy Ghost and this, that, and the third. And then I start seeing that the um, altars that were built up for us, may they be broken in the name of Jesus. So this is me just praying as well. And he's praying. Miss Elaine's praying. All of us, we just going in on a full-on prayer, y'all. Just in the Jennies. I mean, in, in the beauty supply. We're all having a full-on communion in the beauty supply. We're having a prayer room in the beauty supply. That's unheard of. But these things will happen. These things will happen in this day and age when you are on one accord with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Next thing you know, the Chinese woman or Vietnamese woman, she comes and she says, as we said, amen, right? She allowed, now mind you, y'all, I got my eyes closed, but I'm also paying attention to this woman because I'm very vigilant. And I was paying attention to her, to her, and she was behind the cashier drawer. And while she's behind the cashier drawer, when we was praying, this is her behind the cashier drawer, extending her hand as well in, in, in power and anointing and authority with what we're praying about. And she's praying, and I don't know if she was praying in her, in her language that she's aware of or what, but she was praying too for us while we were praying as well in the group, in the circle. And so she pulls this woman um, in and said, wait, 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 y'all. She needs prayer too. She needs prayer too. So the, the Vietnamese or Japanese woman's like, she need prayer too. And it was her and her baby. And so then we go in again, girl. And we all starting to pray again. So we going in, we going in. We felt the Holy Ghost fire yet again. And we start praying over that woman. And we start praying over her seed because she had her daughter with her. Her daughter had a beautiful name. Her name was called Melody. We breaking generational curses over her life. We breaking any kind of trauma over her life. Um, and, and then we said amen after we was all said and done, right? Of course, I gave everyone a hug that was there. I was just so grateful to God to meet other brothers and sisters in Christ that is on one accord with the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the one and only God that can set you so, set your soul free and save you from any kind of eternal damnation and give you a love that you never knew it even existed, right? Through the Holy Ghost. Miss Elaine was still holding the young lady because she was literally still in and in, in, in like almost like in full on tears um just thanking god for this moment and she was like thank y'all so much like i'm literally like burning up like i can i'm just hot and all of us are like yes girl that's the holy ghost like that's the, <laughs> we all like i just love when when everybody that is full on believers in christ that love the lord jesus christ are on one accord with how the holy spirit moves is so important and so then we give her a hug she well she give miss elaine a hug I'm giving, I'm giving both of them a hug. I embrace them too while she's hugging her because Miss Elaine was still like just encouraging her and just really holding on to her and encouraging her. And so I went around Miss Elaine and I was holding her and, and encouraging her as well. And I started praying over her life and just casting down any demonic oppression of her life, just anything, right? And then once it was all said and done, we were just all looking at each other. And then I was just like, y'all, I'm just so grateful to God that Miss Elaine is here and that this happened and everything happens for a reason. I was like, we was all just so grateful for the moment, right? And even the cashier, everyone that was there. We was grateful that no one interrupted it. We was grateful that we was in holy ground. We was grateful for the mere fact that everyone respected God. 
Everyone respected God. The people coming into the store, the people leaving the store, the people that own the store, the people that work for the store respected the God we serve. And I was so grateful for that atmosphere because it's all about the atmosphere. And so when it was all said and done, I was just like, brother and sister, I'm so grateful for y'all gave them a hug. I was like, girl, you are a prayer warrior. And she was like, oh, thank you, sis. And I was just like, yes. And I was like, I'm just so crunk that I was able to see my brothers and my sisters and then Miss Lane. And so I gave her a hug. And so they was just cracking up. We just had, we just had the joy of the Lord, y'all. It was just a moment. It was a moment when I tell you it was a moment. It was a moment. I left there feeling so rejuvenated. I left there knowing that whatever God needed me to have as an impartation was done in that place. And I was just so grateful to God. So I don't even know if the owner will ever see this video because I'm not big on this channel. Um, God is God is gonna have his way however he sees fit to have his way. But even if one person is blessed by this video, please know that God is not limited to your location. He's not limited to your location. He can meet you anywhere, anyhow. His vessels are available and willing by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost and by the leading of the Holy Ghost. Jesus can meet you anywhere, anyhow. And some of y'all that's on this channel right now know that there are people that have came into your life that was literally on assignment because God sent them. And you knew, they knew nothing about your situation, but they were speaking into your situation. That, my child, is the power of the Holy Ghost. I say my child because this is the Spirit of God speaking through me. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will literally walk on your street and you didn't even tell anybody what your address is. And that person doesn't know you from Adam, but yet they're speaking into your situation. Yet they're telling you about what's gonna happen next. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the grace that's sufficient that it speaks about in the word of God. So please don't take it lightly when God sends forth his vessels to speak on his behalf. Amen. Amen. That is it, y'all. What's up, you guys? We're cooking. This is Din Din Chicken Dumplings by Mandu Bibigo. That's the brand. Child, let me make sure I went into lunch. Hold on. Okay. This Korean barbecue sauce is so, so good, y'all. I'll just like mix it in a little bit. And then after that, we're just gonna let it sit. And then y'all, I'm gonna put it on a bed of white rice. Jasmine rice, 90 seconds, baby, because we just gotta make something real quick for lunch today, because I need to get back and book these appointments. And then I'm also gonna use this little soy sauce just to drip it on there a little bit, give it a little tangy flavor with the white rice. And once we mix all those in, sprinkle a little bit of like seasoning, um, I think it's gonna be so delicious, y'all. I cannot wait. I just wanna speak about something really, 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 really quick, you guys. So first and foremost, thank y'all so much for just taking the time out to spend time with Jesus here. Help me, Holy Spirit, to say this with love. Um, <laughs> help me to say this with love, Jesus, as these beautiful flowers are literally here in the background, y'all. They're just blooming so perfectly. Okay, let me not get distracted. Thank you so much, first and foremost, for just your obedience to hear the voice of God here. I truly cannot thank God enough. And what I also wanna make known is when it comes to what God allows me to place on this channel, please know the only way you'll be able to receive what God is delivering here is by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit alone. Um, if you don't have that discernment of the Holy Spirit, not your feelings, because the Holy Spirit is not your feelings. The Holy Spirit is spirit, you know? So it's a knowing that goes according also to the will and the word of God. And that's pretty much the only way that you'll really be able to receive what God desires for you to receive here. I say that because I'm led to post based on what the Spirit of God tells me to post. Anything that I post, anything that I put out is because something that is something that the Spirit of God has told me to release. And 
I just want to make that very clear. Uh, the last video, God blew my mind with how many people were blessed by it. And I give all glory, honor, and praise to God. And I want to make something really clear. I had received a comment earlier um, that I actually did delete because I don't leave space for negativity or for... Um, I'm just not the type of person that's going to leave space for negativity on this on this particular platform. Um, so if you are coming in a judgmental spirit, a religious spirit, um, or if you are just in general um, trying to press your convictions on me or anything that has to do with this platform, respectfully, it will definitely be deleted. I just want to let that be known. And... I saw recently, you know, that there was a lot of um, things that came out recently about one of the spiritual fathers in faith for me. Um, and even that in itself, for people to look at it from the perspective of the eye and not from the perspective of the spirit, which is meaning like that we wrestle not with flesh and blood. And irregardless of what you saw, um, that's definitely something that's between you and God. I'm not leaving space for negativity here. Um, I think a lot of the times as it relates to people that are used by God, specifically um, Prophet TB Joshua, who was used by God, one thing about it and two things for sure, we cannot, we cannot try to um, diminish what God did in this man. It was unseen, it was unheard of, and it was things that actually the Bible speaks about takes place with prophets. And so we cannot diminish the mere fact that this man of God was used by God. What I wanna make very clear, because I think a lot of the times this religious spirit rears its head when it sees someone's stuff out on front street, if it was true or whether it wasn't. Me personally, the spirit of God has not gave me any kind of inclination to not adhere to the voice of God through this man of God and listening to his teachings, listening to his sermons. I'm still growing spiritually. I am still growing in Christ. And I think a lot of the times people are looking for a clean slate. Jesus did not come for a clean slate. Actually, he came to make the slate clean. It makes me uncomfortable when it comes to this thought process of you have to be perfect as a child of God or if you're being used by God, you have to be perfect. Mind you, this man of God has went on to be with Jesus. There's literal even stories of people that saw his home going in the spirit realm. And the mere fact that we're actually just going based on what we see as opposed to what the word of God says is that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness, principalities. I will place the scripture here so that way for those that don't like paraphrasing, um, will be able to receive. And I'm sorry that I'm coming in this manner, but I'm more so coming for the spirit that's trying to come against the church. Amen. And I wasn't going to speak on this, but I think it's very imperative to check yourself. Check yourself. You're a child of God, but you're not clean. You're not clean. You're not clean. None of us are clean. And I think what I have a problem with is those religious spirits that come up and think because of the fact that I am a Christian, that I can do no wrong. Well, what if someone put your stuff on front street? And I don't know who this is for. What if someone put your stuff on st front street that you had sex with someone last night and supposedly now you're celibate, but you just did what you did last night and now it's been put on front street. And now all of a sudden people are condemning you and throwing their stones, casting stones that truth of the matter, they do not have for themselves to cast. He who has no sin cast the first stone. All of us who are casting stones at this man of God that clearly was used by God, clearly set free so many captives by the spirit of God, not in his strength, but by the power of God. The things that God used this man of God to do and even his disciples to this day that are still doing the same thing cannot be discredited. And it will not be discredited here. It will not be discredited here, no matter how you feel. Feeling is not discernment, beloved. I'm gonna let you know that now. Feeling is not discernment. Nevertheless, because I have to get back to work and I've spent well too much time even going into this. And to the person, even if she is here to 
see this message, whenever this message is released, whenever God tells me to release this message, I appreciate um, your concern for what you think I should be listening to. But before you pass your judgment onto others, check in with the Holy Spirit if he has told you to do that. And if he hasn't, it's not needed. Because respectfully, I'm just going to let you guys know, I will not stand for any kind of like passing judgment, casting stones here. All of that will be deleted. One of the things that God has graced me with by the power of God is the armor of God. So I can see something and the spirit of God will let me know, don't receive that. And I will delete what I'm not supposed to receive. Amen. I love you guys. I pray that this is a blessing to those of you that are still listening to this man of God, that are being blessed by this man of God and his teachings. One thing about it, when God uses a person, he did not select the ones that were clean. Henceforth, the Pharisees and how he felt about them. We could even go into that, but I'm not even gonna stay on that because I have to get back to work. But I love you guys. And <laughs> my food is like, girl, we are ready. And I will see you guys the next time on Spending Time with Jesus. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and, um, and just what God is doing here in this channel. Um, I cannot express enough, you guys. We have officially hit, y'all, we hit a thousand subscribers. Like, this is something that God told me would happen, but I didn't know it would happen. So I'm so grateful for you guys, and I'm so thankful for what God is going to do here. And I just pray that you just continue to grow in Christ here, and that you continue to grow in your spiritual walk with Christ. Amen. But I love you guys, and Jesus loves y'all so much more. And I'll see you guys in the next time of Spending Time with Jesus. <laughs>